for Congress to, you know, put up a, a long process, wring their hands, et cetera, et cetera, is just not acceptable. And there's a political and a policy imperative for both parties to move this issue. In fact, I would argue that this is one of the few issues that's on the table that A, is bipartisan in its history and its future, and B, is a win-win or a lose-lose for both parties. So it starts with the president, and then both parties in Congress have to belly up to the bar and get to work. Alfonso Aguilar, is Ali Nirani right? A man who you may disagree with on a lot of other things, but is he right about what he just said, that this is cross-partisan, cross-ideology? Oh, I agree with Ali almost 100% of the time. <laughs> no, really, on this issue, uh, it shows that there is bipartisan support for the issue. I think we have to understand that immigration is not health care reform. Uh, I think there are Republicans who are willing to work with the president to achieve immigration reform that brings people out of the shadows, but that it also facilitates future legal flows of immigrant workers that our economy needs. Uh, having said that, we need the leadership of the president. Uh, is it possible to pass it this year? It's possible. It's difficult because of what happened with health care and the way health care was passed. But I must say, we need to see leadership from the president. Without his leadership, we're not going to get it done. If the president comes out strong on this issue, and both versions, the House version um, spearheaded by Luis Gutierrez, the Senate version spearheaded by uh, Schumer and Graham, the very complex bills, the huge bills with a lot of moving parts. Can the president expect, if he lays it on the line himself, to get help from a Republican Party that so far has not been willing to support him on almost anything? Absolutely, because of the nature of the issue. Uh, I think that if the president acts, uh, you will see Republicans come forward in House and Senate. Uh, we know there are already Republicans in the House uh, working uh, in a bipartisan manner, uh, albeit uh, secretly, on immigration, uh, on drafting an immigration bill. Uh, we also have uh, Congressman Mike Pence, the leader of the House Republican Conference, coming out and saying that we need uh, to bring people out of the shadows. Uh, and in the Senate, don't forget that we had 25 Republican senators, you know, seven, willing to support immigration reform. Most of them are still there. Uh, but the White House, uh, now we have a Democratic president. We have a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate. So if the president acts, and it's not just giving a speech, he really has to come forward, address the nation. Let's remember, President Bush in 07 addressed the nation from the Oval Office on immigration. So he must talk, what he says to Latinos, he has to say it to the rest of America that this is an important issue. He has to make the case and, and, and approach Republicans. He has to deal with this, this issue very differently than the way he dealt with health care. Juan Carlos, if the economy is on the mend, if things are getting better, does that make this a little easier for the White House? Well, the subject is certainly going to come up again uh, because uh, during the recession, the number of, of people coming from the border uh, reduced dramatically. Uh, when, the economy, when the economy was booming, approximately 400,000 or 500,000 people were crossing the border illegally each year. But during the recession, that number dropped. Uh, once the economy starts growing again, then demand for low-skilled workers is going to pick up. And then we're going to start, st start seeing all the... Uh, uh, effects of, of illegal immigration all over the place. So it's going to be an issue once again. I will expect, again, I, 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 I agree with, with, with the panel that this is going to be a bipartisan effort and that is bipartisan in, in, in the nature of the future. Uh, the Republican Party cannot afford to alienate Latin, Latino voters, uh, especially because the Latino voters are critical in states such as Nevada, such as New Mexico, such as Colorado that are going to play and are already playing a big uh, role in, in deciding who's the next president here in the United States.